Next one, pros and cons. Can someone tell me the pros and cons of being an electrical engineer and doing an electrician as a trade? So electrical engineer versus electrician. I'm trying to decide if I should go to college or just try and get into the trade. Great question. So I'm going to go with the pros for being an electrician. I would say that if you really enjoy doing hands-on things, then you're going to have a little more opportunities to do hands-on things as an electrician. Uh, an electrician, you can finish the program to become an electrician entry-level worker a lot quicker than you, it would take you to complete an engineering degree, and it would cost you a lot less. So up front, uh, the financial and time investments uh, before you have to start working are a lot lower. Also, if you're in high school, some high schools have trade school programs where you can already get into an electrician and kind of get a little further along that way for free even. Um, so... Yeah, and also if you work for some construction companies and you work as an electrical helper, then they'll pay for you to go to trade school to get your electric electrician certification. Um, so again, a lot of opportunities there for you to um, start your career with a lower investment money-wise and, and time-wise on your part. But what are the pros of becoming an electrical engineer? Well... Yes, it's a, it's a larger investment of your time and money at the beginning. And it's I would say that it's it's um, academically significantly more difficult to become an electrical engineer than to become an electrician. Not to say that electricians, especially master electricians that are experienced, don't know a lot. They do. They learn a lot. And they, they learn to work with their hands. And they, they learn a lot about how electrical systems work. And they're very valuable. But... Uh, an electrical engineer, it, it, an electrical engineering program will be very rigorous. It'll, it'll be very difficult, and not everybody makes it through it. But um, somebody that's already thinking ahead like you sounds like a great fit for it. But say you you do complete the electrical engineering program, um, your earning potential is going to be a, a little bit higher in my opinion. Now, you can be a, become an electrician, you can work out in the field, and you can work some um, crazy hours, and you can work out in crazy locations and get paid cost of living and per diem and all that kind of stuff, and you can make a ton of money as an electrician. But uh, as an engineer, you have opportunities to really have a lot of career progression as well, electrical engineer. And if, for, say, for example, you're working in those same industries, you might have a little bit more opportunities to ha you know have a little bit more stable home life working from home but i don't know there's also electricians i'm thinking construction here but there's also electricians in every city and town you work in so um there's definitely opportunities to do that as well so but your earning potential won't be as high as if you were working in remote areas um on construction projects but um i'm all over the place today i'm sorry guys um the other thing about being an electrical engineer is you can um, you can work a little bit. There's my um, you can work a little bit longer. You know, electricians are working with their hands, uh, super applied, and and you can only work for as long as you physically can. Whereas as an electrical engineer, you could work for longer. But who really wants to work past the <laughs> the age where you can't use your hands anymore? I mean, goodness, I, I'd like to be retired by then. So maybe maybe it doesn't matter, but. The other thing is, is that electrical engineers can do a lot of other different things that maybe electrical en electricians can't. You know, electricians can do the things that electricians do working on, you know, doing the electricity for a house or building or structure or plane or whatever. And then electrical engineers can, they, they, they design those systems, they understand those systems to maybe a little more theoretical and higher level and then they also can do a lot of other things that engineers can do. You know, one thing that I've talked a lot about on this podcast is the flexibility that an engineering degree gives you. So um, just think back at all those things that we've talked about so far that engineers can do. An electrical engineer can do a lot of those things. And again, that's the difference between a college degree in general and a technical program. But um, yeah, that's, that's kind of all over the place, but just things to think about when you're evaluating the two. If you're if you're very academically inclined, then I would recommend kind of going the electrical engineering route. And if you're not interested 
and pursuing a college degree at all whatsoever, then that kind of makes it easier to choose the electrician route. But yeah.